After my parents divorced, my mom turned into a different person. When I left my husband, I did drink. Definitely a 20-year journey of using alcohol improperly. When I was 11 or 12, I remember my mom bringing uh, strange men to the house. And that's when our relationship became more angry and volatile. I never brought any man around my children until three years after I left him. And she broke in the room and attacked. I asked him to get out, and he started choking me and wouldn't let me get up. My mom was laughing beside him, drunk. When my mom would have someone over, she'd have the door closed, and my sister would bang on the door, and my mom would actually come out and call her a blocker. After my mom and my dad split up, everybody that my mom met was an alcoholic or on drugs. Even at a young age, I knew that the guys that she was bringing around were no good. My mom jumped from one physically bad relationship to another. Several times I've had to pick my mom up bloody and beaten and drunk. I have been with abusive men, and I am done with that, and Adrian does need to realize that. I can say that I didn't like the things my mom did, but they weren't my choices, and it wasn't my business. Erica was very passive, and I had to become the protector for the family. OK, Desiree, you are kind of making a lot of faces over there. What do you want to say? The person that walked away and wasn't around is get was you know, their father. I guess I was the only one there. Maybe they should have went with him if this is the way it is. He got to walk off scot-free. I'm just shocked. I'm just shocked. And that's what they're saying. It's not what that I'm saying. That was never spoken to me in their lives. So they've her, never... One incident with her that she claims that I don't believe. Mm -hmm. Adrian has made up so many lies and, you know, I guess she isn't being honest either right now. I would, I can go on lie detectors for everything that I do. I've gotten drunk. I've been with abusive men that have abused me, never my kids. I'm very and sorry. And maybe some I'm of them I'm very sorry should've. that you've been in those situations. Yeah. Some of them should have abused your I'm kids? I'm saying some of them maybe should have set you straight. What do you mean some of them should have set her straight? Home. She was just a boss of everybody, so I don't know how anybody could have done anything. She told everybody what to do and where to go and when they could stay and when to leave, well, even her boyfriend. What do you mean boyfriends. some of them should have set her straight? And said, you don't tell your mom what to do and treat your mom like that. People had to always watch her treat me like dirt and talk to me like dirt. They treat each other that way. Do you threaten to put your mother in jail? Um, I have probably said that out of anger, but I have developed a motto because I have I have worked on my anger issues. I have had terrible anger since I was younger. And now I have developed, because she's gotten so physical with me, and I haven't at all. I've had marks, scratches. She has physically attacked me several times. Oh, all I say now my. is uh, disturb uh, my peace, and I'm calling the police. I mean, there's no stopping her. Uh, I would go in my room. I would shut the door. I'd even put stuff in the door. She would bang. Can you do a lie detector But I just tests? didn't want to do that to just my mother. Not true. This is not true. Well, Adrian says that you have slapped her, that you have bit her knee, that you've kicked her, that you've barricaded her in her bedroom, that within one day the police came five times, and that she's dropped domestic violence cases on you, mm -hmm. but the state has picked them up. And oh, not true whatsoever. I don't not know. true at all. Well, not, what's not, not true? Not true at all that you dropped any cases. I did drop all of them. Okay. Erica not knows true. that. She needs mental help. 